Hey, how you guys doing? Um, my name is Alex. Everyone calls me Lex the Plug. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be learning the basics of the stock market trading penny stocks one on one. My objective is to teach you without confusing you. I honestly believe just about anybody can learn how to trade on the stock market. The market is not as complicated as you think, although it may seem complex. I've seen people of all ages make money consistently in the market. I believe others try to make the stock market more complicated than it really is and it confuses everyone. I want to teach you how to trade in the stock market as straightforward as possible. Before you invest any money in the stock market, you have to learn the basics. You have to learn what is a stock. You know, you have to learn the difference between a stock and a share. You have to know what a brokerage account is. You have to know the difference between a blue chip company and a penny stock. You have you definitely have to know the difference between a bulls market and a bears market. Let's get started. What is the stock market? The stock market is a place where company stocks are traded. Companies are placed in the stock market to raise money by selling shares. For instance, Netflix. When Netflix first came out, Netflix was a small company streaming movies, streaming shows. No one really knew about Netflix. So Netflix needed money to put into advertisement. Netflix decides to put um, their company on the stock market to raise funds. So once they put the company in the stock market, they raised a little bit of money. They took that money and invested in advertisement. Now everyone knows about Netflix. Netflix started trading at maybe like $8 a share. Now Netflix up to over $150 a share. So Netflix is a perfect example of a company being placed on the stock market to raise funds. What is a stock? Stock represents a fraction of ownership in a company. Stock generate money through people buying and selling shares on a stock exchange. Stocks are typically bought through a broker using a brokerage account. Um, example, Robinhood. Robinhood is what I recommend for most beginners. Robinhood doesn't have any fees. They don't charge you. They don't charge you any fees to to trade. Um, there's no minimum balance you have to have on Robinhood. It's on your phone. You can trade anywhere. You can trade at work. Um, you also have TD Ameritrade. You also have Scott Trades. These are all examples of brokerage accounts. Brokerage accounts is the accounts that you use to trade. All right, let's talk about the difference between stocks and shares. Think of a stock as a pizza, and each slice represents a share. Each slice of pizza, which are shares, are small ownerships of a company. The entire pizza is the company, which is also the stock. Buying and selling stock. People buy and sell stocks to make a profit. We buy at a low price and try to sell at a higher price. For instance, I'm going to show you a video of a guy buying Facebook stock. Alex wants to invest in the stock market. He wants to buy some stocks in Facebook. Alex downloads Robinhood and looks for Facebook stocks. Facebook is trading at $10 per share. He decides to buy 100 shares of Facebook, which costs him a total of $1,000. Facebook stock shoots up to $15 per share. Now Alex wants to sell his Facebook stock at $15 per share. 100 shares times $15 equals $1,500. Alex made a total of $1,500 with a profit of $500. That was the perfect example of buying stock at a low price and end up and also selling it at a higher price. Stock prices. Price of stock is determined by how much buyers are willing to pay. For instance, if a stock is $10, and people continue to buy it, $10 is going to keep going up. As long as people continue buying, the price is going to keep going up. Stock price can also be determined by the value of a company. Um, how much money the company makes, how much the company is worth, how much, uh, how much product the company sells, all that, you know, determines the value of the company and that also makes the stock go up. Sometimes the market may react to economic or financial news. News about a company can either make the stock go up or down. Um, you got it's just like anything else. You have good news about a company, people are gonna want to buy it. People are gonna want to buy more stock. The stock's gonna go up. 
You got bad news, you hear bad news about a company, people are gonna wanna sell. And that makes the stocks go down. Example of good news, FDA approved. Company get an FDA approved, that's typically good news. The, top, the stocks typically go up. Good earning calls, company have four earning calls per year. They basically talk about how much money they made, um, how much money they lost. Launch of a new product, for instance, Apple. Apple come out with a new phone. People buy more stocks into it, they know. Um, bad news for a company. If a company fires CEO or staff, that's bad news. Com the stock usually go down. You get bad earning calls. A breach or hack in the company, that's bad news. Product recalls is also bad news. Penny stock versus blue chip company. A blue chip company is the stock of a large, well-established, and financially sound company that has been operated for many years. Blue chip companies are Walmart, American Express, Facebook, Apple, um, Google, Yahoo. These are safer but boring, very, very little movement, more secure and less volatile, less risk and less reward. Penny stocks, they have less actual value. Penny stocks are very unpredictable, but they're highly volatile with more frequent profit opportunities and greater price swing. The risks are higher, while the potential rewards are much greater. Penny stocks are common shares of small public companies that trade at a low price per share. Bulls market versus bears market. Think about these animals fighting or attacking technique. When a bull strikes, the bull slightly brings his head down and lifts upward with its head, which is an indication that stock has great potential and you're recommended to buy. Bears market. The bear stands above and tries to strike down on you with its paw, which is a symbol of the market falling. Reading a stock quote. All right, let's figure this out. Right here is the name of the company, Bank of America. Here's the symbol. This is what you normally would see if you're on, if you're searching for a stock on the stock market. Everything has, everything goes by as their own symbols. Um, the price. This is the the actual price of the stock at the moment. This is the price that it opened. This this is the price of the stock when the stock market opened. This is the price. This is the highest price has been. The stock has went um, throughout the whole day. This is the lowest the stock. It's been throughout the whole day. Um, the 52 range. This is very important. In 52 weeks, this is determined. This is the lowest price this, that stock has ever been, and this is the highest price that stock has ever been in 52 weeks. The volume. Volume is important too. Volume is how much shares are being traded. How to get started? To get started, use the link below the video to download Robinhood and get a free stock. Also, to learn more about trading. Follow my Facebook page, Trading Penny Stocks 101. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Don't forget to hit the likes. Thank you and have a good day.